हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन विथ ग्रीन फ्लावर दिस टाइम एंड व्हेन वी इम्पार्ट वाइट लाइट ऑन इट अगेन रेड ब्लू ग्रीन द पिगमेंट्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द रोज दे अब्जॉर्ब रेड एंड ब्लू कलर सो व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन when white light falls which is made up of red blue and green color the pigments they absorb red and blue color so which color is not going to get absorbed that appears in the reflected light so in reflected light we have green and that reaches our eye so we perceive the color of the green rose as green in white light in the same way if you only apply if you only incident green color then these pigments are not going to absorb any green color all of them they are going to get reflected all of this light is going to get reflected and finally reaches our eye so the color of the object in white light and of the same light is same always so if the if you are looking at a green rose in white light it appears green and green rose appears green in the green light also let's talk about the green rose in red color light we have discussed just now that the pigments they absorb red and blue color so the red light is entirely going to get reflected so if you have a red torch which you are imparting which is imparting red light on it so no color no light reaches your eye so you perceive this as black in the same way what happens is when you impart blue light on it these pigments they are entirely going to absorb the blue light again no light reaches your eye and it appears black so in blue light also this green rose appears black okay let's impart cyan light on it which is secondary color so cyan is made up of blue and green and we have already discussed that these pigments they absorb blue color so the green does not get absorbed so the green is reflected and finally coming comes to our eye so this rose appears green in which light cyan light okay if we if we incident say magenta light we know that magenta is made up of red and blue color so you can also consider this as red and blue color now you know that these pigments they absorb both the colors so again no color gets reflected and finally you perceive this as black again last secondary color is yellow so yellow is again made up of red and green and these pigments they only absorb red color so the green is not going to get absorbed so finally the green reaches our eye and the eye perceives the color of the rose in yellow light as green 